it's probably one of the best feelings you can have as a farmer the sun is going down and, and the field has been sown so 13 hectares of uh, field beans all in the right spot not in a bag in the barn all lying there 40 of them on every square meter just waiting for sprouting I thought I would show you what I've been using uh, it's a kind of a special sewing machine it's uh, from Vedersta it's uh, from the spirit family of sewing machines drill drills uh, it's kind of neat machine it's uh, it's small <laughs> it's only three meters wide but it's eight meters long so it's kind of special it has all the the technology from the bigger machines it has the the e-control software that you use when you're running it looks like this uh, it's based on an uh, iPad and then uh, a gateway on the machine that it connects to over Wi-Fi so you can actually take the thing with you around when you're doing collaboration and stuff like that uh, it's supposed to be in, inside the tractor not out here obviously but. taking a look at the machine itself it starts off with a packer in the middle it has a crossboard well some uh, track eradic eradicators it has a cro crossboard if you need it no I'm not using them at all we just take a lot of diesel that they don't won't do any good in this in this tillage and then we have a, a carrier more or less a standard carrier uh, doing some pre-tillage -pre and after that a row of really beefy packer wheels that will compact the soil after the the carrier and then the uh, these uh, distributor heads we go to the coulters and they are du double discs coulters hard to get a view of it looks like this uh, they're obviously connected in the front and open in the back and i kind of like the way that the, the the hose here is connected because it will drop the seed in the front so the seed will not meet a, a, a disc going the other way. If you drop the disc, uh, if you drop the seed here, it's gonna the, the disc is gonna come the other way. Not that it make much of a difference, but I guess it just keeps things flowing in the right direction. And then an individual packet wheel over each row, and a following harrow to smoothen it out. And this obviously is. Uh, well, obviously, it's you can set it to uh, always be in the ground, even when you lift the machine, as you can see right now. So when you turn around in the headland, the following harrow is still doing its job. Tram lining markers. There are uh, uh, electric uh, gates in the in the distributor head that turns off for uh, tram lining, but you can also uh, make it more obvious tram lining if you are going to do something straight after the, the the drilling before the seed has come up uh, this machine also has uh, the seed eye system which is basically a, uh, a sensor Fe uh, there are, there's a row of light beams inside there and they they notice when the seed breaks the, the beam so they uh, and, and this and this version for some reason they, they're not doing counting on the three meter machine you actually can do counting and i i actually think you can make it do counting but uh on the three meter version they they're not using it it's only for blockage so you can basically see that something is going through the pipes if if something is not going through the pipes you get a red light so um it's a neat system a lot of electronics you have a Oh, it's on the other side uh, a control box connected to it that go up to the e-control software uh, these are the the lit, uh, blocks that go goes up here if you do tram lining these small electric motors will shoot up and, and block 
in this case this hose so you will not have anything sewn there usually you have two two rows block for um, or four rows actually two two rows per track so it's kind of neat machine it's 2.7 2 2.8 2800 liters of uh, seed and uh, well I'm as you know I'm, I'm looking for I'm uh, trying to get this to be kind of a regen farm more of a no-till system <laughs> this is obviously not no-till this is tilling I haven't plowed it though so I've only been shallow tilling and now I'm using this machine to get the seed in the ground uh, I would like to uh, get a no-till system but it's I don't think it's done over one year you have to plan it you have to uh, get the cover crops in there and uh, I've just recently acquired this farm so it's gonna take a couple of years to get it where I want to as far as this machine for a no-till system well it's not really no tills if you if you're using the carrier here but um, I'm kind of interested in, in seeing the, what this machine could do in um, uh, trying to drill green trying trying to drill in in a growing crop because it could basically just cut the cover crop a little bit make a little bit of tillage here and then use uh, these these coulters to cut down the seed I, I was I always, always thought that this has too low of a coulter pressure it's only 80 kilograms per per coulter in pressure you can obviously set it by hydraulics <clears throat> but uh, considering if you if you can do a little bit of tillage there just uh, making the the green fall over a bit maybe 80 kilograms will be enough here I have seen videos of people doing uh, green drilling with the spirit so it uh, would be nice to to see how it works it's not my ideal solution I, I would like to have a vertical straight disc just cutting a track in the ground and then uh, an upside down T in the behind it that would be my ideal machine so this is not really the concept I'm looking for but but it's doing a good job though and uh, today it's been doing 13 hectares of field beans they look like this it's little beauties and they're all in the ground now I'm trying to get 40 per square meter hopefully that will work out so um, apart from some a few electrical issues it's gonna be going really well so that's the weather start spirit 300 thank you